All paraglider wings have a minimum and a maximum weight that they are designed to carry in flight. But what happens if you fly over the limit? Well, overloading your wing is what we're talking about today. Andre is trying the Geo 6 for the first time. Where we fly here in the coast, it can get very windy at times. So if you try with your normal wing, you're just going to get blown around. What do you think then? It's a little Geo 6. I've always been keen on you having a slightly smaller wing that is right for your size. So that in, so that in days like this, where it's a little bit stronger, I have like a medium-sized wing. Not full size and not mini wing, but kind of like somewhere in the middle. 19 meter for my weight, which I can try out. But as with everything, there's a compromise. When you overload a wing, there's certain things that change. So, gonna have my first little flight on the Geo 6. The first thing that comes to mind is mechanical overload. Will the lines be strong enough to hold my weight? Well, I'm flying at 10 kilos above the weight range, so that's 15% overload or so, and the lines are tested to 8G, so they can take 800% more load than normal. So in this particular case, I think the lines will be okay, but you'll have to assess your own situation. Also bear in mind that as you pull some maneuvers like some wing overs, your G's will be higher than one, meaning the tension that the lines see is actually higher than your normal weight. The other thing to bear in mind is if you're flying with a smaller wing, you're flying in higher winds and higher winds lead to more turbulence. These wing reactions can be made even worse because we're flying at a higher wing loading of kilos per square meter, which means the wing will be a lot more responsive, will have a higher stall speed, and if you have a collapse, it will be more aggressive, it will turn you more than your normal wing would, and you have to react quicker for that reason. You also might find that certain wings might have a different EN rating depending on what weight they are flown at. So even though not all manufacturers offer an extended weight range or their, on their wings, this is pretty much still the case that if you fly, let's say a Rush, which is a high B, if you overload it, you will probably be flying something more similar to a C. And one last thing on the subject of safety is your insurance, as flying a wing outside of its design weight range may invalidate your insurance, so that's something to bear in mind. Hi Gemma!
Well, I hope all of this was useful. Flying these wings can be a lot of fun and extend the wind range that you can fly. But if you're gonna try something new, just do it step by step, a little bit at a time, and then go straight into the deep end. As always, I wanna say a big thank to all these lovely people that support us in the channel. If you've learned something, consider supporting us on Patreon or by becoming a member here on YouTube. All the links are in the description. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.